Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, progeria syndrome. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Now, I'll come to the topic, what is progeria syndrome? You know, progeria syndrome is uh, the term which is used for a group of disorders. And uh, this group of disorders uh, cause the rapid aging in children. And uh, in Greek, uh, the progeria means prematurely old. So the children with this condition live to an average age, age of 13 years. Now, it's rare and uh, it affects about 1 in 20 million people and an estimated 350 to 400 kids are living with this syndrome at any given time in the world. So it's very rare. So the progeria affects the children uh, regardless of their gender and uh, uh, their ethnic background. Now, the most common type of the progeria syndrome is uh, hutchinson gilford progeria syndrome. And uh, it's rare and uh, it's a fatal genetic disorder. And uh, Wedman uh, Rotenstrauch syndrome is another type. So these are of this uh, progeria, you know. And it appears in children while they are still uh, in a uterus. So the adult version of the progeria syndrome is Weiner syndrome. And the symptoms of the Weiner syndrome normally occur in teenagers and the people with this condition may live into the age in their like 40s or maybe 50s. Uh, if your child has a type of progeria, uh, their symptoms will likely begin to disappear before, uh, sorry, appear, uh, begin to appear uh, before or maybe around their first birthday. And they will probably look like a healthy baby when they, they are born. Uh, but they will start to age rapidly uh, from their onward. So they will likely develop the symptoms like uh, a poor development in the height and the weight, uh, loss of body fat, uh, loss of hairs, uh, visible like uh, scalp veins, and the skin that looks aged or worn or uh, like uh, thin lips and uh, stiff joints which are the signs of aging you know it's caused by the genetic mutation and the mutation occurs in the uh, lmna gene so this gene is responsible for producing a protein that helps uh, to maintain the structural integrity of the nucleus in the cells so without uh, like a strength in its nucleus uh, the cell structure is weak and it leads to the rapid aging uh, while the progeria affects the genes uh, the scientists don't think it's uh, a hereditary so the parents who have one child who has the progeria don't have a high ri risk of having another child with the same condition and your doctor uh, to diagnose your doctor will uh, uh, first conduct the physical examination and if uh, he or she suspects uh, that your child has progeria uh, they will likely order a blood test to check for the mutation of the specific gene which is responsible for this condition and uh, we don't know the treatment it's uh, not curable but the treatment to manage the disease is available and ongoing research has been uh, like uh, has identified some like uh, promising drug options and some children with the progeria receive the treatment for complications from the disease like uh, uh, hardened arteries. Uh, for example, your child, the doctor may prescribe aspirin, uh, statins, which are the blood thinning medications, maybe physical therapy and other treatments. Uh, the average lifespan uh, for the people with the progeria is 13 years, uh, but uh, some people live 
into their 20s as well and uh, is fatal syndrome and the people with this condition are at uh, like heightened risk of many health conditions like examples like they tend to dislocate their hips easily uh, most of them eventually experience heart disorders and uh, strokes and it's very common for the children with the progeria to develop uh, atherosclerosis or hardening and the narrowing of arteries and the most affected children eventually died from the heart disease and the children with progeria have motor development that is typical for their age you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel thank you goodbye